Welcome to another fabulous, fantastic, amazing, and of course, epic show, My Orgasmic Life. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Gaia Morissette, if you don't know who I am. <laughs> How can you not know me? <laughs> Anyways, okay. So uh, two things before we get into uh, what are the rules and engagements of practicing slutty Xmas? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> uh, okay. First thing is today's episode is brought to you by Tickle.life. The second thing is, is that please support me, donate, um, help the show run smoothly. Um, you can join my, become a patron of Patreon, and that supports all the work that I do in the world. I show up for you guys and give you all this great content and entertainment. And in turn, you're like, oh, let's support Gaia too. Okay. So uh, that link will be in the show notes um, for this uh, at the end of this episode. All right. Let's get into our like, woo, slutty Xmas. Okay. So last year was the first official year of slutty Xmas. And um, so, you know, I was working out all the, the logistics. Um, this is the second year of practicing Slutty Xmas, and so we have some new rules and some new things um, that we're integrating. And next year's Slutty Christmas, I'll be inviting you guys to come and participate and engage during Slutty Christmas together. So it can be like a Slutty Christmas get-together, <laughs> Slutty Christmas, <laughs> Slutty Xmas group, okay? So that's, what's, that's what the evolution of it. So why did I create Slutty Xmas? Well, I don't have children, so I have the luxury of uh, having fun and not having fun, but having more uh, adult sexual uh, fun in my world. And uh, so last year, uh, a friend of mine and I, I was like, you know, well, actually the year before I was planning on, and then my grandmother died, so couldn't do that. So each year we would make um, Christmas ornaments. So we have, we made vaginas, we got penises, we got, this year we're doing boobs, uh, you know, for the slutty Xmas tree. And at, and on the top of this Xmas tree, we have like, we have <laughs> Dom Barbie, Sub Barbie, sledding cookie bar, cooking Barbie. <laughs> And when I put up my tree, you'll see all of the decorations. Um, and this year we're making boobs, so that should be interesting. So one of the things that happens during the holiday season for most people is that they get uber, uber stressed out because there's all this like intensity, there's family drama, there's all of this stuff that happens around Christmas, around the holiday season. And I used to fall into those categories, stressed out about how much money, you know, I was spending on gifts for other people and, you know, what, um, you know, having to deal with holiday stresses. And, and I was like, I don't want to live like that. No, this is like downtime. This is supposed to be fun. So how do I make things fun? Well, I always add sex to the mix. <laughs> That's how I make everything fun. Orgasm here, a little sprinkle of orgasm there, and voila, we have like fantastic. Before it was crappy, now it's fabulous. All right. So, so that's why I decided to start this holiday tradition. Um, so here are the rules. So the countdown starts on November 21st, which gives us 30 days of a countdown to slutty Xmas. Okay. The rules of the countdown is like, so I have on my bathroom mirror a countdown that I write down um, how many days to Slutty Xmas. And so when I write it down each morning, I do some Kegels and then I tweak my nipples and then I set my intentions for the day, which is I choose new pleasure possibilities today. And, um, and so that's my job. That's what I need to do, right? 
that's each day I need to find some kind of new pleasure possibility, which what that does is it puts my brain into instead of stress and anxiety mode, it puts my brain into curiosity and seeking mode, which in that place of curiosity and seeking, I can, uh, I'm always looking for new pleasure possibilities. So therefore, I'm also really focusing on joy, pleasure, my body's creating new biochemicals, releasing them in my body. Like there's all the great things that are happening because my brain is now in curiosity and pleasure seeking. So, so you might be like, uh, Gaia, how can you have new pleasure possibilities? <laughs> I know, right? I was like, there's no way. And 30 days of it? Oh, my God. But this is the beautiful thing about the human experience is that no matter how much we seek pleasure, there's still more available to us, the more aware we become, okay? So, um, so far, so this would be day 28. So, so far, and I started early because I was excited. <laughs> I started the countdown prematurely. <laughs> I started the day after my birthday. <laughs> So, so far, I have had uh, an orgasm, like an orgasmic pleasure. So, okay, so actually, let me define what pleasure is in this context. Pleasure, there's, you can have three different types of pleasure. There's sensory pleasure, which is your five senses, your smell, your taste, your sight, your hearing, and your touch. Okay? There's that sensory pleasure. Then you can have emotional pleasure which is uh, an example of that would be you're super, super excited, kind of like you can't sleep. Um, you're excited because you won something. Um, you're excited to see someone. It's like your heart just like is going to eat just so excited that it ejaculates with feelings all over the place. Because you can never use the word ejaculation quite enough. <laughs> sorry. I, actually, I'm not sorry. I do find myself incredibly entertaining. Okay. So, um, so we have emotional pleasure. We have sensory pleasure. And then we have orgasmic pleasure. Okay. Now, orgasmic pleasure usually is a byproduct of one, of one of those two other pleasures or a combination of those two pleasures. When you have enough of it, your body has an orgasmic release, which experiences an orgasmic pleasure moment. Okay. So, so when I talk about new pleasure moments, it could be any one of those types of pleasure or combination of those types of pleasure. So, I so far on my, uh, countdown. I have had a nosegasm where I was cutting up an apple. And I think because I've quit smoking and, you know, because I've quit smoking, I'd be like four months now, five months since July. Um, my, my nose is way, my senses are all more alive. Okay. It's definitely they're more engaged. So I was cutting up an apple the other day and I was like, oh my God, this apple smells so good. And then the juice flowing out of the apple. And then I bit the apple and it was just like the flavors and the smells. And it was like the best apple. It was like as if I was starving and I never had an apple before. That was a pleasure moment. The, the next day I went for a walk with my dog. And I started touching all nature, like touching the leaves and touching the bark. And there was this like, there was this, this really cool, like kind of almost like a grass that had like a fluffy ball at the end. And from a distance, you're like, oh, that's got to be so soft. And so I was anticipating that it was going to be soft when I touched it, but it wasn't. It was like prickly and stuff. And so it was like this really exciting um, sensations of what I thought it was going to feel like and what it actually felt like. And, you know, I had a pleasure moment in my hands just from touching this, this plant. So, so that was another pleasure moment for my countdown. And then the next day 
I was listening to a song, which I love. I love this song. I listened to it over and over and over again. And I have never heard that there was a wolf howl throughout the song. And I was able to hear it because my brain, so this is what I'm talking about. My brain is in this like curiosity, this pleasure seeking curiosity of awareness. And so it's just incredible. So yeah, and then um, today when I was meditating, again, I, I've, wa- I've listened to this meditation, hun- well, for years, so hundreds and hundreds of times. And today, I heard for the first time, this like weird bird sound in the background that I've never picked up before. And so I've already had my new pleasure possibility and my pleasure awareness for today. I'm still going to seek more, but you know, that's, that's, that's how it works. Okay. So that's the first part of it, the countdown. Then on uh, December 21st, which is also Yule, the starting of Yule, um, this is where you put up your slutty Xmas decorations. So instead of a mistletoe, I have a camel toe. And when instead of, you know, kissing under the mistletoe, when you're caught under the the camel toe with somebody, you grope each other's genitals. (laughs) I have, that's what I put up my slutty Xmas tree with all of the the great ornaments that I have, we've been been creating, me and a friend of mine. Um, And so we put up the tree on the start that officially, so that's the official launch of slutty Xmas. Now, for 12 days of Slutty Xmas, you, can, you need to pick one to three new sexual experiences that you've never had. And you have 12 days to get yourself ready for it. <laughs> Oh, you might need to do prepping. There might be need to be phases. There might need to train your body. I don't know what you're doing. So you, you, you got like a 12 plus, you know, there's visiting, you know, family and other obligations and stuff like that. So, um, you, you know, you get 12 days to accomplish that. So last year, um, I did three new experiences not, and those new experiences can be like new experiences to you or new experiences with a particular partner. Okay. Um, so last year, um, I did, uh, I was on the receiving end of fisting, which was a bad choice to start off slutty Christmas with that extreme one, because my vagina was a little angry at me for the rest of the, the slutty Christmas, slutty Xmas. <laughs> So do you, if, it, if you have three things and one of them is going to be extreme on your body, do it at the end, near the end of Slutty Xmas, okay? So that's what I learned last year. <laughs> I also, somebody suggested putting chain inside myself. And so I did that, um, which didn't go, I did a whole show on how, why it didn't go well, but it didn't really go that well. And then recently two other women have said, no, my God, it's fabulous. You just didn't do it right. So um, I'm going to put that on my list, but maybe not for, for Slutty Xmas. I don't know. I might do it again for Slutty Xmas. And, um, and then the third thing was one of my new lovers at that time, um, he, when I brought up, what would you like to explore with me over Slutty Xmas? he just he divulged that he had a foot fetish and I was like what how have you not told me this already and uh and so we had he had some sex with my feet um which I have done many many times because my feet are slutty (laughs) but that's what happened last year this year um, I am planning on um you know dressing one of my uh one of my lovers up um in uh some girly clothes uh do some sissification and then uh force him to uh, give me a blow job with my strap on so that's one i gotta come up with two other ones <laughs> good thing i have 28 dates to come up with two more things <laughs> Those are the rules.
rules. That's how it works. It's lots of fun. Um, you can make your own traditions. Uh, I, I'll keep you informed as, you know, so uh, I probably maybe do, you know, I'll just keep you up to date as things come, come up. And, you know, every once in a while, I'll keep you up to date on all the different pleasure possibilities that I have been finding in the countdown. And um, if you're like, ooh, this is really fun and I want to participate next year with me, um, send me a private message and I'll get you on the list so that we can set you up for next year um, where we'll, you know, we'll create a, a private group where we can all share our, our you know, our experiences and uh, we can, you know, talk and connect and it can be the safe space, safe containment space um, to explore and celebrate with like-minded uh, holiday slutty Xmasers. Okay. Uh, then we'll also, we're also creating next year an advent calendar because <laughs> you need one of those. Like you can't have, you know, a slutty Xmas without a calendar. <laughs> okay. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, you know, like I said, if you want to participate next year, um, PM me so we can uh, get you on the list. And so when that's all set up, uh, next fall, we'll we'll get you going with it, and um, and enjoy. And here's some ways that you can spend, you know, some quality time with me, um, in a professional capacity. Of course, you can just visit me at www.gaiamorissette.com. Uh, this is now my new hub where it gives you access to everything that I have going on, all the different ways in to uh, come and interact with me because I do many, many things in the world. Don't forget to listen to my Orgasmic Life podcast on your favorite podcasting platform, Google, Apple, Spotify. Uh, it's all over my website. Uh, you, you can find it everywhere. And I'm also the host of Tickle Dot Life's podcast, so where we where people share their um, sexual experiences, relationship experiences, their firsts and things. So that's a really cool podcast if you're looking for another one besides my orgasmic life. And don't forget, I show up for you guys. It would be lovely for you to be able to financially show up for me. Uh, you can do that by donating um, for the, you know, $5 a month to $20 a month to $100 a month. And that gives you exclusive content and how to ask me questions and live, live things that, you know, only my Patreon people get to have access to me. Um, so, you know, it's definitely worth it. And I will put the link in the show notes. All right. Have a juicy day. Bye-bye. Happy slutty Xmas. Ho, ho, ho.